Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be diving into fault code P0183, fuel temperature sensor A, input value too high. We'll break down what this code means, what could be causing it, and how to diagnose and fix the issue. Whether you're a seasoned mechanic or a DIY enthusiast, this video will equip you with the knowledge to tackle this problem head on. So, grab your tools and let's get started. The P0183 code indicates a problem with the fuel temperature sensor A circuit. This sensor is responsible for monitoring the temperature of the fuel in the fuel tank. The sensor sends this information to the engine control unit, ECU which uses it to adjust the fuel injection timing and amount. There are several possible causes of the P0183 code, including, faulty fuel temperature sensor, the sensor itself may be faulty and sending incorrect readings to the ECU, damaged wiring or connectors, the wiring or connectors to the fuel temperature sensor may be damaged, causing a loss of signal or an incorrect signal to be sent to the ECU. Fuel contamination the fuel may be contaminated with water or other contaminants, which can affect the readings of the fuel temperature sensor. ECU malfunction. In rare cases, the ECU itself may be malfunctioning and causing the P0183 code to be set. To diagnose the P0183 code, you will need to use a scan tool to retrieve the trouble codes from the ECU. Once you have retrieved the codes, you can use a repair manual or online resources to determine the possible causes of the code. Once you have identified the possible causes of the code, you can begin to diagnose the problem. This may involve inspecting the wiring and connectors to the fuel temperature sensor, checking the fuel for contamination or replacing the fuel temperature sensor. The repair for the P0183 code will depend on the underlying cause of the problem. If the sensor is faulty, it will need to be replaced. If the wiring or connectors are damaged, they will need to be repaired or replaced. If the fuel is contaminated, it will need to be drained and replaced. And if the ECU is malfunctioning, it will need to be repaired or replaced. The P0183 code is a relatively common code that can be caused by a variety of factors. If you are experiencing this code, it is important to diagnose and repair the problem as soon as possible to avoid further damage to your vehicle. The P0183 code can manifest in a variety of ways, but some of the most common symptoms include, check engine light illumination. This is often the first sign that something is wrong with your vehicle's fuel system. Rough idle, the engine may idle erratically or stall completely. Poor fuel economy, you may notice a decrease in your gas mileage. Hesitation or stumbling during acceleration, the engine may hesitate or stumble when you try to accelerate. Black smoke from the exhaust, this is a sign that the engine is running rich meaning that it is getting too much fuel. If you are experiencing any of the symptoms listed above, it is important to have your vehicle diagnosed by a qualified mechanic. The mechanic will use a diagnostic scanner to retrieve the trouble codes from your vehicle's computer. The P0183 code will be one of the codes that is retrieved if the fuel temperature sensor is malfunctioning. Once the mechanic has confirmed that the P0183 code is present, they will need to diagnose the problem. This may involve inspecting the wiring and connectors for the fuel temperature sensor, as well as testing the sensor itself. In some cases, the sensor may need to be replaced. The fix for the P0183 code will depend on the underlying cause of the problem. If the wiring or connectors are damaged, they will need to be repaired or replaced. If the sensor itself is faulty, it will need to be replaced. In some cases, the problem may be caused by a software issue, which can be fixed by reflashing the vehicle's computer. Once the problem has been fixed, the mechanic will clear the P0183 code from your vehicle's computer. You should then monitor your vehicle to see if the symptoms return. If they do, you will need to take your vehicle back to the mechanic for further diagnosis. 